Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment, speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, CD, transports should cost more than replacing your garage door uh, when your teenager hits the gas because they actually thought they were hitting the brake. And these don't. They're the Klipsch RP500M. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the Klipsch rp 500M. Today's sponsor is uh, Happy Moms Children's Melatonin. Uh, when your, your kids are having trouble going to sleep at night and you want them to go to sleep so that you don't lose your insanity, grab some Happy Moms uh, Melatonin for Children gummies um, because it's, it's, it's all natural and you don't want to be giving your kids something that was made in a factory. You want it something that's a gummy. All right, Clips RP 500M. It's been a while since we have had an RP speaker in here. Let's go over some specs. Rated down to 48, all the way up to 25K. That's a one inch titanium dome tweeter. Five and a quarter inch, they're, you know, they're copper spun woofer. Our rear port uh, has keyhole on the back, 8 ohm, 93 dB, and I like that sensitivity. Let's take a look at them. They're actually one of my favorite looking Klepsch speakers they have. Okay, they have a cool magnetic grill, kind of, I don't know, kind of see-through. It's got a cool fabric to it. All right, now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to kind of rotate it. The finish on this is black, but in the grain or the fake grain, it's almost like a silver. So it's almost kind of like a metallic-y dark black wood. And I sure like that. I actually think that's really good looking. And on the back, they have this uh, port. And I will say, normally I kind of make fun of port technology, but whatever they're doing here is working pretty well. Uh, the waveguide slash horn is kind of um, a soft uh, rubbery feeling material. Okay. And the Clips RB512 has kind of a harder material. Okay. Uh, build wise, you know, I they, they probably need to be braced better inside. And I've, I've, I've taken a peek into the RP600M and there's, there's no bracing. So, uh, could be braced better, but that's all right. Let's talk about soundstage and imaging. All right, soundstage and imaging. I uh, also forgot to say that I paired this with the Emotiva TA100 acting as a preamp into the Emotiva A300. And Emotiva actually just announced they have a whole new amp line coming out. All right, may want to check that out. Also, the Rysong A10 or Bayou Range A10 tube amplifier also the svs sound base okay so with soundstage and imaging the one thing that we have to take into consideration is that the Klipsch tweeter is a narrow dispersion tweeter not a wide dispersion so that greatly affects soundstage and imaging with all that said it still does a great job of soundstage and imaging wherever i may roam at the 14 second point there's a <laughs> comes out of the right speaker and should come way right in a proper room, and when I had these in a medium-sized room with somewhat uh, similar or symmetry between the sidewalls, I got all the soundstage and imaging that I wanted, okay? With imaging, with a center image, you have to be a little bit more careful with toe-in, and even if you have good center imaging, you may not have a wide of a sweet spot, really, for that center imaging, all right? But hello by Adele, she was dead on locked center and i actually heard her a little bit vertical as well all right chocolate chip trip again with proper toe in i got seamless travel between left and right speaker all right mm -mm -mm. Uh, also got a bit of openness and depth of staging when i was a little bit more up into them on all the mtv unplugged records okay so if you if you've ever seen the loudspeaker optimization something video by new record day he recommends pulling your speakers 
way out into the room and kind of getting into them a little bit. You can kind of do the same thing by just getting into them a little bit if, if you have like a desktop situation. All right, let's talk about bass. Bass, I'm pleasantly surprised, okay? One of the things I didn't like, or I can't say I didn't like it, um, I didn't think the RP600M punched hard enough, okay? These punch harder than the RP600Ms at lower volumes. I know it's counterintuitive, but I've experienced that before with the ELAC WB 5.2 compared to the 6.2. Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys had surprised me with the amount of punch that it had. With that said, the roll off of that song, i.e. how deep it actually reaches, was a little bit compromised and I would say that's probably because of the enclosure design and the port design. But in this situation, I'd rather have punch than extension because chances are you may be getting a subwoofer if you want. However, don't feel like you need one because these are actually pretty good. They're spec down to 48 and I think that's a legitimate specification on this one. All right, Killing Strangers, also punchy, uh, had good palpable feel. Uh, Highway to Hell by ACDC. I felt like there's a little bit more thickness in the bass drum on that, so there's probably a little bit of a rise in the frequency response down there. But it's where it's supposed to be, and it sounds really good. All right, let's talk about mid range. Mid range, uh, shoot to thrill, another ACDC song. I like that song to come in uh, crunchy, all right, but also have a little bit of body. This gave you all the crunch and metallicness that you wanted on that song. Uh, the body was a little bit thin, but again, this is Klipsch, and this is very kind of their signature sound. So it's it's good. It's fine. I, I like that crunch in there. Did it have as much body as I've heard on other speakers? No. But that doesn't really matter if you're a Klipsch fan. All right. Sad but true. Mm, here we go. Um, when the first guitar riff, riff kind of comes in, real good <laughs> real good quite good i enjoyed it okay a uh, rooster by allison chains off the mtv unplugged lane staley's voice was a bit thin okay but again we go back this is kind of the klipsch sound it's carried forward from nearly every speaker that i've heard from klipsch all right it just lacked a bit of body it had all the clarity it needed um, tonally it was good too it just lacked a bit of body all right mid-range is fine if you if this is typical clips mid-range all right but female vocals hello by Adele mmm Linus Morissette MTV unplugged mmm depth vibrato not depth as far as like uh, sound depth but like into the the vocals it's very good female vocals very good let's talk about treble treble um kind of a standout here all right there can be a bit of shoddiness around 2500 that's actually kind of mid-range um when they get right up into that like actually on rooster sorry we're going back to mid-range actually on rooster uh when he kind of yeah that part yeah you know he ain't gonna die yeah no 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 you know he ain't gonna die all right that was a bit much randy um anyway back to trouble sad but true is actually really good the symbols i I listen to it, and I usually don't even listen to that song for the, the cymbal. I usually listen to it for the body of the guitar. Actually, the cymbals were awesome. The decay was awesome. Africa, again, cymbal by uh, Weezer, the cover, not by Toto. The decay was awesome, all right? Center Man, 16th notes. At the, at the beginning. Really good. Sound like they're in the room. Again, maybe a titch thin. Uh, I know thin and treble, it's kind of a paradox uh, that we're talking about, but it's still tactile. I can hear the stick. I can envision the stick hitting the, the hi-hat. Quite good. 
What are my final thoughts? Final thoughts on this speaker is it is without a shadow of a doubt my favorite RP clip speaker I've heard. And I've had the same situation with ELAC and their uh, B5.2 versus the B6.2. I like the 5.2 better. I like the 500M here better. Um, what I don't like is the price. I know, go figure. Right now, I think it's $479. I think this is more around a $350 to $375 speaker. With that said, there are some open box options on Amazon. There's also some renewed options on Amazon that fall within the price range where I think the speaker really lives. There's also the RB512 available, which is this one's grandfather um, or grandmother. You may want to wait for the Saturday speaker shootout on that though. Okay. Uh, you know, people, there's people out there like uh, Danny over at GR Research that does a lot of speaker modifications and upgrades and can take uh, maybe what some would feel would be the speaker's limitations and improving upon them. And that's great. Um, that's something you could do on this if you're so inclined and if you want to um, maybe brace the cabinet a little bit more or maybe fill out the mids a little bit more. However, there's something else that's actually quite, quite a bit more affordable and it's this. Look at this little thing. It's a little EQ, uh, Balari EQ. Okay, I just got this in. I've always wanted one of these. They didn't send it to me. I bought it. Nobody sent the Klipsch RP500Ms to me either. I bought them as well. Okay, you know what I did? I dialed back uh, 2000 hertz just a titch. I dialed up 400 hertz just a titch. And guess what? I loved it. Actually, it was great out of the box. Um, again, pleasantly surprised about how much I like this. A bit shouty at 2,500 hertz, you know, when people really get, get into that area, but I can live with that. This gives you that Klipsch sound, that excitement. Um, there's limitations, more directional, it's fine. If you love Klipsch, you're probably going to love this speaker if you haven't heard the RP500M. Frankly, I think it's better than the RP600M. And with a little EQ, guess what? This is staying with me. Why? Because of the sensitivity ratings. This is going to be my tube speaker, all right? Um, the amp pairings that sounded best with this were um, the Rysong A10. Um, sounded good with everything because the Emotiva is more neutral with a little bit of thickness in the mids, and it filled these out. SVS sound base really filled these out uh, quite nicely. So what I would avoid on these is maybe some of the SMSL 8018 topping MX3, um, unless they have like tone controls. Um, and every, all of them have tone controls, but it's really the, the mids and you know, that 2000 Hertz area that you wanna bring down, okay? I couldn't be happier with this speaker. So if you want to support the channel, you can do it in a variety of ways. I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio, man. We do patron only Zooms, I have a patron only Facebook group, and we have patron only content. You can buy merchandise. I have a veterans t-shirt, 50% of all the proceeds buying the cheap audio man veterans t-shirt goes to Homes for Our Troops. It's a veterans organization. Uh, any of the links in the description, most of the links are affiliate links. So if you use them, buy something, you don't have to pay anymore. I get a small commission. You can also sign up for Amazon HD for free. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click try HD. You get three months for free. I get a couple of dollars and I have some, uh, playlists in there. Test tracks, satanic panic, leg warmers. All right. That's it. So don't binge watch Netflix or Hulu or anything. Binge listen to your favorite streaming service, cassette record, eight track and uh, fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy, I'm the Cheap Audio Man.